welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Tiny Acorn. I am so excited about this episode of Rework Your Wardrobe because I have a couple pieces that I've been kind of struggling to style and I'm bringing my friend Sarah over who has a totally different style than me and she is going to help me style these pieces up. And what's great about that is I'm going to get a totally different perspective and hopefully some new and fresh ideas to kind of help me reimagine these pieces, if you will. This is a great idea that you can do at home. Invite a friend over, play some music, have some wine and cheese and make it fun and pull out some pieces that you've been struggling to style and see what your friend would do with them. And I'm sure you'll get some new inspiration and fresh ideas. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and stay tuned. Okay, so the way it's gonna go down is I have three pieces here that I've been struggling to style. I'm gonna share those with you. Then I am going to pull some looks together, try to style these pieces up, and show you guys what I come up with. Then my friend Sarah's gonna come over. She's not gonna have any idea what I did with these pieces. She's gonna style up her own looks for me, and I'll be filming, but I'm not gonna give any input into what she puts together. So I'm just gonna put on what she tells me to, and then we're gonna go ahead and show the side-by-side -side looks, and hopefully I will not only come up with some new ideas for these pieces, but hopefully it will inspire you guys as well. Without further ado, let me show you guys what I'm gonna be styling up today. Okay, so this first piece is this adorable Boy Scouts shirt that's actually from my husband's childhood closet. Um, he was a Boy Scout when he was younger. Um, I love this shirt and I actually really have an affinity for all like Boy Scout Girl Scout things and so I am gonna try to style this up today. I've worn it once or twice in the past and really liked it, but I've always kind of felt a little like it was a little off the outfit. So hopefully I'll be able to pull something together with this one today. Okay, so I just put the shirt on and tucked it into my Everlane 90s cheeky jeans in a dark wash. And then I buttoned it all the way up because I just, I think it looks cute buttoned all the way up. Okay. So then I was thinking of pairing it with this Zara coat. Okay, so I like this jacket, but I feel like I'm bummed that it's covering up so much of the shirt. I'm gonna try something else. Okay, so I feel like I'm really struggling here. This shirt keeps getting covered up by the layers. My other thought was to try to do like a long sleeve turtleneck type of shirt underneath this. All right, so as I was putting this black mock neck turtleneck on underneath. I kind of liked how it looked left open. And I threw on a little beanie that I got from Everlane just to add a little bit more of like a wintry touch to it. And I think as far as the shoes go, I'm going to need some boot or a shoe and a sock or something like that. Maybe a tennis shoe. Okay, so here's a couple options, and I don't think I like either of them. These are it with my black Sutro boots, and then this side are my black Doc Martens. And I think no. I think what's going to look the best with this outfit is probably my white Converse. All right, so I was right. <laughs> I think I like the white Converse a lot better, and I think it kind of just goes better with the whole outfit. I'm gonna grab a bag, probably a tote or something casual. Elvis sweatshirt that I love so much. Um, I got it recently on Etsy and it took about almost two months to get here. Uh, <laughs> oh yes. Anyways, it is 
in my hands now. So I'm excited to style this up. It is a really fun piece, very unique, and um, I'm going to try to see if I can put together some sort of like layering outfit or something like that. Okay, so I had two ideas. One was this little dress. So I thought about maybe layering it on over the top of this guy, which would be pretty crazy. My other idea, if that doesn't work, are these little pumpkin colored trousers. That might be a little bit more fall and winter friendly. I think I might do this one. I have on the pants here and the sweatshirt, which I gave a little tuck. I definitely want to put on some layers, so I'm going to do that, but I kind of want to pick out my shoes first. So I was thinking of these socks, which are like the same exact color as the pants. Okay, so I went ahead and put on these Everlane boots, which I will link for you guys in the description box. Okay, so I'm thinking about this thrifted blazer that I got. So here is the blazer on with the outfit. I like the idea of layering on another coat on top of this, maybe in a different color. So I was thinking about throwing on this jacket that I got in my thrift guide to San Francisco when I went with Abby. Okay, I am super into this. I like the way that it looks layered. Okay, so I grabbed my Levi's tote because I like that the blue in the Levi's tote is picking up on the blue sweatshirt. So the last piece is this Zara coat. My husband bought it for me. I think this was like when we were still dating or something. But yeah, I really like how it has this very vintage kind of 60s look to it. I used to wear this coat all the time and I just haven't been reaching for it lately. It's been in the back of my closet and I felt like it's such a cute piece that I really want to style it up in a fresh way that I've never styled it before. So. Gonna try to do that, and I'm excited to see what Sarah does with it. So for this coat, I was thinking of doing this cardigan with it that I just got in my um, in her closet with Amanda. I thought it'd be cute to kind of button it up totally, and then maybe tuck it into a skirt, and then put the coat on top. So yeah, let's try that. All right, so I have this cardigan on, and it's buttoned all the way up. And then I tucked it into the skirt that I got when I went thrifting with Beth in Long Beach. Um, and then I threw on this green beret that I got when I was in Paris. Here it is with the jacket on. And the greens kind of all tie in together. And I think that's kind of what's making it look more cohesive because it is a pretty quirky outfit. <laughs> so my thought for shoes would be either this pair that I got from Thread Up or these little Target rain boots. So I decided I'm gonna go with these because this whole outfit kind of gives me schoolgirl vibes. So I feel like the Oxford and the white sock top it off and are like the perfect addition. I think I'm gonna do a red lip as well. Okay, so I did the red lip and I grabbed a bag. And my outfit's complete. <laughs> Some of you may recognize Sarah because she was in my thrifting the Goodwill bins video. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. I brought Sarah over here today because her style is very different than mine and I want to get some fresh inspo, some fresh ideas. So Sarah, how would you describe your style in like three words? Childlike, explorative, wonder. Ooh. So I'm really excited to see what you do with all of these pieces. So oh, yeah. let me show you the three pieces that I picked out for today. Okay. And I already styled up the looks for these. Okay. And so you don't know what I did. Okay. So the first yes. piece that I want you to help me style is Jason's old <laughs> Boy Scouts shirt. Oh, he didn't get very far. 
I know he only has a couple <laughs> pouches. Poor guy. <laughs> we will not talk about that. <laughs> I like the pops of color, like the yellows and this green. I'm gonna try and play around with colors because I love colors. So I think this one would be fun because you can have it open. I like that it gives that like uh, Wes Anderson vibe. Ooh, um, I'm all about Wes Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, something's happening with these You know me well. Scouts. <laughs> these babies look good. I think the two would look the best. Okay, so this is the shirt and the pants. Oh, that's fun. Let's try these. It would be fun to have more color. Okay. You look great. Just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Those would look good with that. More red down to the bottom. Decided to go with these because they look amazing. Yeah. Woo woo. Well, definitely keeping with the color scheme and the fun adventure of your Boy Scouts, this just looks like you're going on the best trip. Perfect. Okay, and then this Elvis sweatshirt. Yeah, the king. The king. I know, I felt like you would like it because I it's feel like you soft. have good taste in music. Oh, thanks. We're also going to the Joanna Newsom concert together tonight. So I do. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you do have good taste in music. Yeah. <laughs> so this one. So I want to play up the fact that it's a lot of one color. Maybe we should try this one. I think this already looks amazing, and... But we can't use the same pieces as the last one. I know, one. but it, it just looks great, though. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to find new bottoms and new shoes. Okay, so pants. Let's explore. Yes. White. White. For sure. And I've worn these a few times in your videos. I love they, how they look, so let's try it out. Okay, this looks amazing, and I like that you tucked it in the front. I think that looks really good. I like these because they're so Nashville, and the king lives in Nashville sometimes, so Tennessee. Okay, we got our Graceland boots. They look amazing. These are actually some of my favorite boots. We have an amazing jacket. All right. I think this one would look really good with the light colors of your collar. This floral carpet bag, I think. Okay, and then the last piece is Ooh. this kind of like 60s vintage inspired jacket. Um, so I haven't worn this in like I think a year. I got it probably three years ago and so I just feel like I need some sort of fresh ways to style it. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking I really like this shirt. I like how funky it is. I just love it. It is amazing. So I think it would look really good with the green also. This brown leather skirt. Um, because also the texture, I like the movement with the buttons clinking. I think it will look really good. Okay, you look so cute. I love, oh, yep, yep, this is great. This is, <laughs> just Fiddler on the Roof in over here. <laughs> okay, this looks amazing. Let's throw the jacket on and see how it looks. Okay. Ooh, yes. Oh, man, it looks amazing. So we just need some boots. So I have been steering towards the reds. So let's try these. Ooh, yes. Let's look at some accessories and handbags. I like the idea of this playing with the color. It's almost like a military green. So keeping up with that theme, maybe seeing how this will go. Maybe your La Bouvette bag. Always a good choice. And then, we can't go outside without our sun protection. I think you look ready to command attention everywhere you go.
thank you, Sarah, for helping me. It was kinda... a lot of fun. Yes. So what I love about Sarah and this whole styling session was you definitely pulled things that I wouldn't have normally pulled. Like, I think I play it safe a lot. Yeah, and, definitely. Yeah, and you, like, you'd pull something out and I'd be like, oh, I don't know if that's going to go. <laughs> yeah, I like the thought of outfits being works of art that you can change up. With all art, there comes a risk. Yeah. So I think some of my most popular outfits that were also the weirdest, but people seemed really to like. I think yeah. people like to see that they can do something out of the ordinary. Mm. And if you see someone do it, then you know that you could try it. Yeah. So. Do you have any tips for reworking your wardrobe? For me, I really like playing with movement. I like color. I want as many colors as it looks sane. And not being afraid to take a chance out of all of my weird outfits, I think the most important thing is wearing it with confidence. Mm -hmm. I can get away with a lot of weird things. If I wear it confidently, then that is the best thing that you can do. If you try something new, you take a risk, like just wear it, act confident, and nobody will know. <laughs> and then when you get home, you can kind of gauge how you felt in the outfit. Did you enjoy stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new? Or, you know, do you feel like you want to go back to beige? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with beige, but go back to your, like, safety zone. But. Yeah. I think one of my rules are nobody tells me what to wear. I tell me what to wear. And it's a stress point in my marriage sometimes because I'm married to an artist and you have to be confident and say this is what I want to wear and it's weird and I'm okay with it. <laughs> That's good too. Don't let anyone tell you what to wear. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Sarah. You're and you guys, welcome. don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. And ladies, always remember that you're, you're beautiful, beautiful just, just the way, the way you, you are. are. Okay, bye.